July 19, a message for the nations. Come here and listen, O nations of the earth. Let the world and everything in it hear my words. For the Lord is enraged against the nations. His fury is against all their armies. He will completely destroy them, dooming them to slaughter. Their dead will be left unburied, and the stench of rotting bodies will fill the land. The mountains will flow with their blood. The heavens above will melt away and disappear like a rolled-up scroll. The stars will fall from the sky like withered leaves from a grapevine or shriveled figs from a fig tree. And when my sword has finished its work in the heavens, it will fall upon Edom, the nation I have marked for destruction." The sword of the Lord is drenched with blood and covered with fat, with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of rams prepared for sacrifice. Yes, the Lord will offer a sacrifice in the city of Basra. He will make a mighty slaughter in Edom. Even men as strong as wild oxen will die, the young men alongside the veterans. The land will be soaked with blood and the soil enriched with fat. For it is the day of the Lord's revenge, the year when Edom will be paid back for all it did to Israel. The streams of Edom will be filled with burning pitch, and the ground will be covered with fire. This judgment on Edom will never end. The smoke of its burning will rise forever." The land will lie deserted from generation to generation. No one will live there any more. It will be haunted by the desert owl and the screech owl, the great owl and the raven. For God will measure that land carefully. He will measure it for chaos and destruction. It will be called the land of nothing, and all its nobles will soon be gone. Thorns will overrun its palaces, nettles and thistles will grow in its forts, the ruins will become a haunt for jackals and a home for owls. Desert animals will mingle there, with hyenas their howls filling the night. Wild goats will bleed at one another among the ruins, and night creatures will come there to rest. There the owl will make her nest and lay her eggs. She will hatch her young and cover them with her wings. And the buzzards will come, each one with its mate. Search the book of the Lord and see what he will do. Not one of these birds and animals will be missing, and none will lack a mate. For the Lord has promised this. His Spirit will make it all come true. He has surveyed and divided the land and deeded it over to those creatures. They will possess it forever, from generation to generation. Hope for Restoration Even the wilderness and desert will be glad in those days. The wasteland will rejoice and blossom with spring crocuses. Yes, there will be an abundance of flowers and singing and joy. The deserts will become as green as the mountains of Lebanon, as lovely as Mount Carmel or the plain of Sharon. There the Lord will display His glory, the splendor of our God. With this news, strengthen those who have tired hands and encourage those who have weak knees. Say to those with fearful hearts, be strong and do not fear, for your God is coming to destroy your enemies. He is coming to save you. And when he comes, he will open the eyes of the blind and unplug the ears of the deaf. The lame will leap like a deer and those who cannot speak will sing for joy. Springs will gush forth in the wilderness, and streams will water the wasteland. The parched ground will become a pool, and springs of water will satisfy the thirsty land. Marsh grass and reeds and rushes will flourish where desert jackals once lived. And a great road will go through that once deserted land. It will be named the Highway of Holiness. Evil-minded people will never travel on it. It will be only for those who walk in God's ways. Fools will never walk there. Lions will not lurk along its course, nor any other ferocious beasts. There will be no other dangers. Only the redeemed will walk on it. Those who have been ransomed by the Lord will return. They will enter Jerusalem singing, crowned with everlasting joy. Sorrow and mourning will disappear, and they will be filled with joy and gladness. Judgment Against Wealthy Oppressors What sorrow awaits you who lie awake at night thinking up evil plans? You rise at dawn and hurry to carry them out, simply because you have the power to do so. 
When you want a piece of land, you find a way to seize it. When you want someone's house, you take it by fraud and violence. You cheat a man of his property, stealing his family's inheritance. But this is what the Lord says, I will reward your evil with evil. You won't be able to pull your neck out of the noose. You will no longer walk around proudly, for it will be a terrible time. In that day, your enemies will make fun of you by singing this song of despair about you. We are finished, completely ruined. God has confiscated our land, taking it from us. He has given our fields to those who betrayed us. Others will set your boundaries then, and the Lord's people will have no say in how the land is divided. True and False Prophets Don't say such things, the people respond. Don't prophesy like that. Such disasters will never come our way. Should you talk that way, O family of Israel? Will the Lord's Spirit have patience with such behavior? If you would do what is right, you would find my words comforting. Yet to this very hour my people rise against me like an enemy. You steal the shirts right off the backs of those who trusted you, making them as ragged as men returning from battle. You have evicted women from their pleasant homes and forever stripped their children of all that God would give them. Up! Be gone! This is no longer your land and home, for you have filled it with sin and ruined it completely. Suppose a prophet full of lies would say to you, I'll preach to you the joys of wine and alcohol. That's just the kind of prophet you would like. Hope for Restoration Some day, O Israel, I will gather you. I will gather the remnant who are left. I will bring you together again like sheep in a pen, like a flock in its pasture. Yes, your land will again be filled with noisy crowds. Your leader will break out and lead you out of exile, out through the gates of the enemy cities, back to your own land. Your king will lead you. The Lord himself will guide you. Judgment Against Israel's Leaders I said, listen, you leaders of Israel, you are supposed to know right from wrong, but you are the very ones who hate good and love evil. You skin my people alive and tear the flesh from their bones. Yes, you eat my people's flesh, strip off their skin and break their bones. You chop them up like meat for the cooking pot. Then you beg the Lord for help in times of trouble. Do you really expect him to answer? After all the evil you have done, he won't even look at you. This is what the Lord says. You false prophets are leading my people astray. You promise peace for those who give you food, but you declare war on those who refuse to feed you. Now the night will close around you, cutting off all your visions. Darkness will cover you, putting an end to your predictions. The sun will set for you, prophets, and your day will come to an end. Then you seers will be put to shame, and you fortune tellers will be disgraced, and you will cover your faces because there is no answer from God. But as for me, I am filled with power, with the Spirit of the Lord. I am filled with justice and strength to boldly declare Israel's sin and rebellion. Listen to me, you leaders of Israel. You hate justice and twist all that is right. You are building Jerusalem on a foundation of murder and corruption. You rulers make decisions based on bribes. You priests teach God's laws only for a price. You prophets won't prophesy unless you are paid. Yet all of you claim to depend on on the Lord. No harm can come to us, you say, for the Lord is here among us. Because of you, Mount Zion will be plowed like an open field. Jerusalem will be reduced to ruins. A thicket will grow on the heights where the temple now stands. The Lord's Future Reign In the last days, the mountain of the Lord's house will be the highest of all, the most important place on earth. It will be raised above the other hills, and people from all over the world will stream there to worship. People from many nations will come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of Jacob's God. There he will teach us his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For the Lord's teaching will go out from Zion. His word will go out from Jerusalem. The Lord will mediate between peoples and will settle disputes between strong nations far away. They will hammer their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation will no longer fight against nation, nor train for war any more. Everyone will live in peace and prosperity, enjoying their own grapevines and fig trees, for there will be nothing to fear. The Lord of heaven's armies has made this promise. 
Though the nations around us follow their idols, we will follow the Lord our God forever and ever. Israel's Return from Exile In that coming day, says the Lord, I will gather together those who are lame, those who have been exiles, and those whom I have filled with grief. Those who are weak will survive as a remnant. Those who were exiles will become a strong nation. Then I, the Lord, will rule from Jerusalem as their king forever. As for you, Jerusalem, the citadel of God's people, your royal might and power will come back to you again. The kingship will be restored to my precious Jerusalem. But why are you now screaming in terror? Have you no king to lead you? Have your wise people all died? Pain has gripped you like a woman in childbirth. Writhe and groan like a woman in labor, you people of Jerusalem. For now you must leave this city to live in the open country. You will soon be sent in exile to distant Babylon, but the Lord will rescue you there. He will redeem you from the grip of your enemies. Now many nations have gathered against you. Let her be desecrated, they say. Let us see the destruction of Jerusalem. But they do not know the Lord's thoughts or understand his plan. These nations don't know that he is gathering them together to be beaten and trampled like sheaves of grain on a threshing floor. Rise up and crush the nations, O Jerusalem, says the Lord. For I will give you iron horns and bronze hooves, so you can trample many nations to pieces. You will present their stolen riches to the Lord, their wealth to the Lord of all the earth. A Ruler from Bethlehem Mobilize. Marshal your troops. The enemy is laying siege to Jerusalem. They will strike Israel's leader in the face with a rod. A ruler from Bethlehem. But you, O Bethlehem Ephrathah, are only a small village among all the people of Judah. Yet a ruler of Israel will come from you, one whose origins are from the distant past. The people of Israel will be abandoned to their enemies until the woman in labor gives birth. Then, at last, his fellow countrymen will return from exile to their own land, and he will stand to lead his flock with the Lord's strength, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. Then his people will live there undisturbed, for he will be highly honored around the world, and he will be the source of peace. When the Assyrians invade our land and break through our defenses, we will appoint seven rulers to watch over us, eight princes to lead us. They will rule Assyria with drawn swords and enter the gates of the land of Nimrod. He will rescue us from the Assyrians when they pour over the borders to invade our land. The Remnant Purified Then the remnant left in Israel will take their place among the nations. They will be like dew sent by the Lord, or like rain falling on the grass, which no one can hold back and no one can restrain. The remnant left in Israel will take their place among the nations. They will be like a lion among the animals of the forest, like a strong young lion among flocks of sheep and goats, pouncing and tearing as they go with no rescuer in sight. The people of Israel will stand up to their foes, and all their enemies will be wiped out. In that day, says the Lord, I will slaughter your horses and destroy your chariots. I will tear down your walls and demolish your defenses. I will put an end to all witchcraft, and there will be no more fortune tellers. I will destroy all your idols and sacred pillars, so you will never again worship the work of your own hands. I will abolish your idol shrines with their Asherah poles and destroy your pagan cities. I will pour out my vengeance on all the nations that refuse to obey me.